Hey, what's going on everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have the Looney Tunes Action Pen set of six awesome collectibles released by Wendy's back in the year 2000. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up, I'm gonna start with the Tasmanian Devil. But one quick thing here, I wanted to show you one of the inserts that comes with each figurine. So you got this adoption stamp collectible advertisement from back in the day. And then you open this up and then there's a little form you could fill out and send it off. And on the back here, really cool. You got some stuff to do. It gives you some basic instructions, collect all five. There's the Tasmanian Devil. Wind up body, press down pen to release Taz and watch him spin. And then what's really cool is the set connects together to make for a nice little display piece. You got a little connect the dots there with Marvin the Martian and how to draw Daffy Duck. It's kind of neat. And then a little match them up thing you can do, draw a line to the two drawings and make it match. So there's some activity sheets here. So we're gonna take a look at the other ones as well, see if they're all the same or different. So here is the Tasmanian Devil, looking very cool. <laughs> oh, this is great. He's so silly and goofy looking, I love this thing. And so there's a little pen tip, and I tried, uh, obviously all these years, you know, the, the ink has dried up in there. So it doesn't work, I did try it. And it's got a wind up gimmick. And here's a little base. So you just store it right there when you're done. So anyway, back to the wind up thing, so you can hear it in there winding up. We'll wind it up here, and it, it doesn't really function that properly. Maybe the other ones will, but we'll get to those. So you can hear it clicking and winding up, and then you push the tip in right here. Let me do this manually. See that? So now it's supposed to actually spin, but I've been messing with it, and I can't get it to work all that well. So let's get wound up, and let, let's see if we can get it to work. And... <laughs> So my guess is it's really not supposed to actually spin like a top, though, I mean, I'm confused a little bit by this. If you read the instructions, let me show you again. I could be wrong, so if anybody out there has ever owned this set or one of these figures, maybe you can clue me in here, but it looks like the way it's designed here, that he's actually, like, the whole thing is spinning on its own. Like, I, I don't know, so I'm, I'm just a little confused. So we're gonna try this one more time. And then of course, we'll, we'll play with the other ones as well and see maybe I'm miss if I'm missing something here. So that's about as tight as it goes. And then I'm gonna push this down and then let it go, ready? See, it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really show that the whole, th I thought it would spin around like for a second, but it doesn't, just, a, just Tasmanian Devil that spins up there. I guess that's it, so there you go. It's the Tasmanian Devil. Next one up is Wild E Coyote, and again, we're gonna take a look at the, the little insert that comes with it. So you can see right there, there's the Dave Thomas Foundation, the, the creator of Wendy's. And so let's open this up and take a peek. And it shows right here, push pen down to make the sign pop up. So there's Wiley Coyote there. And then of course, it's the same as the previous one. So we got the same little fun little things you can do with that. And then here is Wiley. I had him pushed in the base there. And let's see, so you push the, the pen tip down and look at that, very simple. We'll just push that like this, and the little sign pops out, boom. So he's riding, look at this thing, he's riding a, an Acme rocket. Very cool stuff. Oh, it's so nostalgic. Yeah, it brings me back to my childhood. This is cool, but that's about it. So there's nothing else. And again, the pen does not work. I've tried the pen, and I, I suspect that the rest aren't gonna work either, but that's okay, <laughs> it doesn't matter. These are cool little novelty, gimmicky little toys that they're fun to have in your collection. So there you go. It's Wild E Coyote. The next one up is Marvin the Martian looking very cool. Totally dig Marvin the Martian. Look at this guy. <laughs> he just makes you chuckle just looking at him. <laughs> Silly looking. So the gimmick with this one is it's supposed to light up. So you push the pen tip in right here. And let's see, we'll push it on the side of the base here. And it's supposed to light up. So you got the clear little bit at the end there. And a little, probably a little light up LED is supposed to illuminate that but unfortunately you know due to the age of the toy the battery has obviously expired and i i kind of looked this over and i'm like how would you get in there how would you get open this and get into this to possibly replace the battery and check it to see if you get it to work and if you look there's really no reasonable way unless you just you probably break it tearing it apart it's like there's no little screws or anything that you could take out and pull this apart you can see it's all pressed together and if you were to try to open this, it would probably just not work out well. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a cute little novelty toy, especially if you're a Marvin the Martian fan. It's, uh, it's cute. <laughs> and it's a pen that 
doesn't work. But that's okay. So there you go. Marvin the Martian. Next up is Daffy Duck. Yes. And here is his little collector's base. And it reads right there, Acme Turbo Pogo Stick. Acme. So he's riding a pogo stick and he's got a cool little backpack. And you can see right here, there's little holes because because that's a speaker in there. And let's see, we'll give the pen a push. So you push the pen down and he's supposed to, it's supposed to activate a sound. Let's see if it works. And no, of course it's not going to work. So with battery operated toys like these, these older ones with the little, little tiny watch batteries, you can't expect them to work after four or five years of a set being out. Yeah, I wouldn't expect it, but you never know. Sometimes you get lucky. As you've seen in the past videos, I've gotten lucky with sets that are 20 years old. You pull them out of the package, and bammo, it still lights up, still works. You can still play the game, whatever. Uh, and then sometimes you got to replace the batteries. And again, with these, this set, there's everything is kind of like molded and pressed from the factory. So there's really no way to get in there and replace that battery without destroying the the figure. So I'm not sure what to do. And I was kind of hoping it would work, but it doesn't. I'm pushing it in, and I don't hear anything. We're we'll, we'll kind of bang it here. Come here. Come on. Come on, work. <laughs> so, again, it just turns it into just a little novelty collectible that doesn't function anymore. But it's fun to look at. I mean, look, he's got the Acme Pogo stick going on. You know, it looks awesome. Very accurate to the cartoon. It's fantastic little collectible. So, there you go. Daffy Duck. And now we have Sylvester the cat. What is he doing right there? <laughs> I'm not really sure. He's like, what are you, like he's pointing at his, picking his teeth? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess he's picking his teeth. I don't know. So this one again is another electronic one. Here's the little base that he comes with. And you push the pen in. He's supposed to light up. But again, like I said, I don't know where you can replace the batteries with this because according to the instructions you push the pen tip in he lights up yeah, so i'm not where would he light up where like where's the light up feature somebody help me out i'm like i feel like a newbie right now <laughs> i've been doing these sets for years but you know i'm not sure it says it lights up where does like the finger light up i don't see any area where it would light up somebody let me know Maybe his belly, I'm guessing. That kind of might be it right here because it is kind of clear in there. So maybe his belly lights up. That's what he's doing. He's picking his teeth. That's the only thing I could surmise from, from kind of looking this over and I'm making an educated guess. I wish there was a way to replace the batteries, but unfortunately, some of these sets just don't allow it. So you just have to use your imagination to pretend like that's his belly lights up. That would be my guess. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think or if you know. That'd be a great help to me, so I'd appreciate it. And there you go. So it's Sylvester the Cat. And this would be, I guess, considered the under three toy, even though it doesn't read under three on the packaging. It does come with the set. It was released at the time with the set. So you could get this as like the under three version. And it's just a Porky the Pig mail truck. And you got a couple other characters on there. Let's flip it around, take a look. So it's the same. And it's just got four basic wheels that just rolls along back and forth. <laughs> and to be honest, it's probably the best one in the set. I don't know. The other ones don't seem to be working all that well, but they're fun to look at. But this is actually serviceable. You could actually fiddle around with this. And this actually comes off so you could store some coins in there, maybe hide some candy from your, your little brother or sister or something. <laughs> I don't know. But then you just put it back on like that. You probably, is it reversible? We could flip it around and put it on like this. Well, yeah, look at that. It's reversible, too. <laughs> and this is cool. Oh, man. It's a neat little, just basic collectible little mail truck with Porky the Pig, the duck, and the cat. <laughs> there you go. It's the under three toy. So now that we've seen them all, let's see if we can put together the base. And I think that there's a particular order that because the center has words on it so i think there's a certain way that we need to put these together to get that lined up so i think we got to do it like this here and they just tab on so there see right here it reads looney tunes so we'll put that there and let's see is there a specific order we got to look at the centers of these and see which goes where and try to get it put together just right and let's see if we can get that done oh they're kind of tight and let's see. 
if we got this one on here like this and we kind of lift this up here we'll build this little little base here it's a little tricky but if you just have a little patience and work with it <laughs> And I'm struggling. I'm struggling as I'm telling you to have patience. So let's see. We'll just remove this here and we'll get it. <laughs> okay. So we put this one on here. Let's see. Maybe we can't do it with all the figures on. So <laughs> we're having a good time. It's always a good time. And this one doesn't even want to come out. Okay. So let's see. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna lose the place of which one goes where. <laughs> so it is tricky. You can see what I'm doing here because one has to go underneath, one has to go on the top. Look at this. We got it. There we go. <laughs> yes, success. Good stuff. Okay. So now, now that we got the base put together, now it's just a matter of lining these back up. There we go. So we got Tasmanian Devil there. I don't remember who went what where and what. <laughs> Now, so I'm guessing the little Marvin the Martian goes here. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. So Marvin the Martian here. And then we have, let's see, who we got here. Okay, so Daffy Duck goes here. We'll get this. <laughs> We're having fun with this. See, now I'm making this set fun. See, now I'm making it fun. This is, this is a fun part. And then we'll take and put Sylvester and the red one here. There we go. And then we have Wild E. Coyote right there. Look at this. And now we have our little set put together. Look at this. How awesome. This is how you would display. This is how you would want to display the action pen set. <laughs> so cool. And then you take and you got your little mail truck and you just kind of display this. Whatever direction you kind of want will go like this. And then you put it right there. And there you have it, everyone. Looney Tunes Action Pen Set of Six. Neat little toys released all the way back in the year 2000. I'll tell you, this set's more novelty than it is for anything. Like, if you love the Looney Tunes, you'll get it just for the nostalgia, just to have another addition to your Looney Tunes collection. Sadly, they all really didn't work, which kind of takes away from the set for me personally. And I still couldn't figure out the whole little top spinner thing so I guess it's this Tasmanian devil that spins not the actual whole pen the electronics didn't work there's no way to change the batteries so unfortunately it's just a display piece not a whole lot to do unless you had this set way back when maybe you can leave a comment and let me know actually like the electronic one like what is he supposed to say with the Daffy Duck what does he say I have no idea <laughs> but if you know let me know I'd greatly appreciate it thanks for watching everybody take care we'll see you next time